Welcome to South Sound Seniors, a program for and about older adults in our community. And Happy New Year. We're in 2016. This is our first show of the year, and I'm just glad that you can be with us. I always think when it comes to that first show of the year, first time of the year, is how can I live this year the best for me? What can I do? And that's kind of the inspiration for our show this month. We're gonna be featuring a number of things that happen at Senior Services for South Sound that can be the best for you. And hopefully something will pique your interest and you'll want to get involved and come down and check it out in person. For me, I know I just need to move more. It's not so much a New Year's resolution, but just really what I need for me for this year. So I wanna invite you to stay with us this month and watch the show and kind of see if this might be something you wanna put on for you as well. So tonight I've got Cindy Sundum. Sundum. I said it right? Correct, Yay. yes. And uh, welcome Cindy, I'm so glad you could be here. Thank you. You are an enhanced fitness instructor at our Lacey Senior Center. I am, yes. So can you just describe a little bit for me what is enhanced fitness? Yes, enhanced fitness is a, it's a research-based, evidence-based program that incorporates elements of balance and cardio and strength training along with stretching in a one-hour program that we hope participants will take part in three times per week. Mm -hmm. um, it's been proven to help balance for older adults. As you know, that's one of the problems. As we get older, we tend to lose our balance. When we fall, it's not always a good time to, for recovery. I mean, it's right. difficult. And so anything that can help us to stay balanced and upright mm -hmm. is a good thing. Yeah. So basically, in a nutshell, that's enhanced fitness. Okay, so people, you teach classes three days a week then, is that I right? Actually, I teach uh, two of the days. We have classes three days a week in mm -hmm. Lacey, and I know there are classes in Olympia. Mm -hmm. We have three classes on Monday, three on Wednesday, and three on Friday in uh -huh. Lacey. Uh -huh. So I teach them Monday, Wednesday classes usually, and then we have another instructor that teaches Friday, uh -huh. and we have a substitute also. Wonderful. We, so, yeah. Okay, well, can you describe some of the things that you ask the participants to do? Yes, we have a lot of fun, actually. Um, and, and it's not just working out, it's, it's like a family. They're like a family. Uh -huh. So we always start classes in Lacey in, the, in a chair. We, uh -huh. we begin seated and we do a warm up and we do all kinds of things with the warm up, just warming up our upper body and our lower body. And then we move into a little bit of balance work before we do cardio and we have all kinds of fun with that too. Uh -huh. um, they do V steps, they do, they make X's on the floor as they're walking <laughs> around and moving their arms and we even have some participants who come and come up on the stage and work out uh -huh. with me, leading the Wonderful. rest of the group. So, uh -huh. all kinds of fun. I notice one thing when I'm there in Lacey and the classes are going on. Like there's often a lot of laughter coming <laughs> from the class. Yeah, as we well. do that too. Uh -huh. <laughs> we do that too. Actually, right now during football season, we do football drills a lot in my class. Oh, interesting. So you must be a fan. I am a fan. Yes. Uh -huh. <laughs> so. Um, we use normal exercises that you would do, but we call them football moves. So we're a quarterback, we squat, we get the ball, we throw the ball. Uh -huh. We're a receiver, we reach up and we grab the ball and we pull it down. And, and we never run in enhanced fitness mm -hmm. because that's part of the program, but we run down toward the goal and we push off defenders as we're running and holding the ball. I mean, we just incorporate whatever we can to have fun uh -huh. and, and to work and to get the heart rates up and we do laugh a lot. We have a good time together. Yeah, people have developed some real strong friendships as part of that. Yes, they group. have, yeah. yes, they have. Which is wonderful. So I also noticed that some people have hand weights or do they all have yes. weights when, as well? Well, there there is a supply of weights, uh -huh. not just for the upper body, there are the, the hand weights, but there are also leg cuffs uh -huh. that you can use for the lower body work. And some people bring their own, mm -hmm. but the weights are there and they're available for participants to use if they choose to. Uh -huh. So those are always available. So if somebody's sitting at home thinking, well, I couldn't do weights or I couldn't do, do you have folks that are 
less able, more able, who comes to the classes? Anyone and everyone comes to the classes. We have the afternoon class, which happens at four o'clock Monday, Wednesday, Friday, is a beginner's class. Mm -hmm. It's it's named a beginner's class. But even in that class, we have all different levels. We have some people who stay in the chair the entire class uh -huh. and they still get a great workout. Mm -hmm. um, I have two people who come in wheelchairs at 945 uh -huh. and we still find ways to help them work out. Um, uh -huh. Again, all levels. You never have to use the weights if you don't want to, but uh -huh. you, you could uh -huh. if you like and we challenge you to increase the weight. If you've been using the same weights for a long time, we challenge you to increase. Uh -huh. yeah. But again, it's up to you. Right. You're the participant. Right. And do you have some people that then are more physical that do more of, if you have beginners, do you also have advanced? We do. Our morning classes in Lacey are, are basically intermediate type classes. Uh -huh. So again, because I do have people in wheelchairs in one of the classes. Uh -huh. And in the first class, I have people who will stay in the chairs. And like I tell them, some days are better than others. One day, you're Superman. Uh -huh. And maybe the next day, you're Superman, but the room's full of kryptonite, so yeah. you're not working as well. <laughs> and, it. and it, you know, we're all like that. Everyone is that way. Right. And so you just encourage everyone to do their best, not, mm -hmm. not worry about their neighbor, unless they fall on the floor. That's what we say. If they fall, then you help them up. I'm kidding. Nobody falls. We, we don't do that. But um, we work to our own ability and everybody does their best. Mm -hmm. Have you seen improvements in any of your students that you've taught? Yes. And more importantly than that, they see improvements. Uh -huh. They see it. I've had many of them come to me and say, I can't believe how much better I can this or how much longer I can do this. Uh -huh. And I know it's because of coming to class. Uh huh. Yeah. Yeah. I know I probably talk to more people at the Olympia Senior Center and the Enhanced Fitness participants, but similar stories where they just say, oh, I w wouldn't be able to do what I do now if it wasn't for the classes. Exactly. I've also had people who have maybe had an injury and their doctor or their physical therapist has been very impressed with how quickly they've recovered ah, uh -huh. because they have been in good shape before right. the injury. Right. So. Well, thank you, Cindy. Thank You're you welcome. For thank you. bringing Enhanced Fitness to the Lacey Senior Center and for coming on tonight. And um, I'm sure our wonderful producer, Tom, will be over to get some pictures of the class so people will be able to see it really in action as well. That would be great. Thank you very much great. for having me. Thanks so much. You're welcome. So please stay with us. We will be back in just a minute. Welcome back. You heard a little bit about enhanced fitness a moment ago, and now we're switching subjects, but still really good stuff for you, and that's Tai Chi. And welcome Earl Hansen. You Thank are our Tai Chi instructor at the Olympia Senior Center. That's correct. And I have a confession to make. I started out with Earl when he first started how many years ago? It's almost now? seven years seven, ago. Yeah, I knew it was quite a while ago and then when my dad got ill I kind of had to spend more time with dad and dad passed away but I haven't made it back to the class yet so we talk about it every time you walk through every time I walk through <laughs> that I am gonna get back to Tai Chi because I really really enjoyed it so Tai Chi is better known now than it was in the US a while ago but still why don't you describe Tai Chi a little bit to me Tai Chi is many things to many different people. It's an internal martial art. So everything that you do in Tai Chi has martial applications. And But when you teach it, some people do Tai Chi just for exercise. Mm -hmm. It's a good exercise. Some people do it just to improve their balance. It's good for improving your balance. Mm -hmm. But it's hard to understand the moves unless you at least talk a little bit about why you're moving this way. Mm -hmm. And so uh, Tai Chi is really a, an exercise program that is all about you 
paying attention to you, mm -hmm. you learning moves mm -hmm. that have a structure and purpose, mm -hmm. you maintaining your balance. So that as you're thinking about you and what you're doing, you're thinking about where's your knee? Mm -hmm. Where are your hips? How's your alignment? What are you doing with your hands? Mm -hmm. And it's, most people find it almost overwhelming to start because there's so many things to think about. Uh -huh. But everybody that takes it relaxes, gets healthier, mm -hmm. improves their balance. And it's kind of a centering it's thing. A, it's very too, much, it? it's almost meditation. Mm -hmm. once, once you learn it, mm -hmm. then you can just shut the world off and do Tai Chi. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. So in that sense, it's also good for your, just your mental health. It's I very good for mental health. Health all the way around. And how did you get into Tai Chi? Or I was, had retired from the Air Force. I was really in bad condition, bad shape. My son, every time he would see me, my, my eldest son would say, Dad, you need to be doing Tai Chi. So for three years, every time he saw me, he told me I needed to learn Tai Chi. And then he gave me three books on Tai Chi. And my job changed, and I was in Washington, D.C. My family was here. I had time. I found a place that taught Tai Chi. Within a month, I said, I have to do this the rest of my life. You felt a difference that much in a month? Within a month, I quit limping every time I walked. Wow. Now, each month I'd take a week and come home. Uh -huh. For a week, I wouldn't do Tai Chi. When I got off the airplane back in Washington, D.C., I was limping again. But within a few days, I would quit limping. Uh -huh. And I attribute that to when you do slow movements, mm -hmm. balancing your weight on one leg as you move, you strengthen all the muscles around your ankle, you strengthen all the muscles around your knee, you mm -hmm. strengthen the muscles in your hip. And these things that are working poorly, uh -huh. now that they're aligned back where they're supposed to be, mm -hmm. start working better and have yeah. less pain. Wow, that's pretty amazing. So when do you teach your class? And I teach, I teach classes on Tuesday. Mm -hmm. At 2.30 on Tuesday afternoon, I have a class for folks with Parkinson's. It was started for a friend of mine that has Parkinson's. Uh, and then it's grown to anybody that has balance issues. So I have one person with MS, uh, one with, no, one, two, three, five people with Parkinson's, one with vertigo, mm -hmm. uh, one with polio, Oh my goodness. Uh, one with neuropathy. Mm -hmm. So a variety of reasons that say, I'm having trouble with balance. Mm -hmm. And I think everybody that comes to class with a sh within a short period of time says, I'm doing better. Mm -hmm. Wow. I've got one student, and he's not in that class, he's in the five o'clock class, which is my beginner's class, who was couldn't walk in a straight line, couldn't walk between two chairs without knocking a chair over and falling down. Oh my goodness, wow. And his doctor said, you need to learn Tai Chi. You uh -huh. need to study Tai Chi. Uh -huh. So he started coming to my class and about two months after he had started, he came in one day and said, I walked between the chairs. With his doctor? With his wow. doctor. He had uh -huh. gone to his doctor, walked between the chairs. Uh, he has since, as we've talked about alignment of the body, mm -hmm. use of the entire body, mm -hmm. uh, he has continued to improve and it's, it's just very gratifying to watch somebody change over time. Yeah. Wasn't that an insightful doctor though that yes. suggested that? It's amazing if you talk to my students how many of them are having issues and their doctor said, the only thing I can recommend for you right now is Tai Chi. Interesting. So I've got, uh -huh. I would rest say that half my students are there because their doctor sent them. Wow. Boy, times have changed. That's times a have wonderful changed. sign. Yeah. Yes. Uh, I've, before I came here, you know, I said, what am I going to talk about? And there's a doctor, uh, Yang Juing Ming. He's a Tai Chi expert. He's a Qigong expert. Uh -huh. And uh, he teaches out of, I think, University of Texas, somewhere in Texas. Mm -hmm but he's written like 30 books on Tai Chi and on Qigong. Uh -huh. And he's done numerous studies. And uh -huh. every study I've found, his studies, other studies throughout the world on Tai Chi say, it will improve your balance. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It'll make you healthier. Wow, that's awesome. So 
you mentioned the one for people with movement problems, Parkinson's yes. or what have you, and then your beginners at five o'clock. Then at six o'clock, I have a class for my advanced students. Uh -huh. And to put this in perspective, I teach Yang style Tai Chi, Yang style long form, which is 105 moves. Mm -hmm. So my beginner class does 19 moves, okay. as does my Parkinson's class. Uh -huh. So those classes are really almost the same. Mm -hmm. My advanced class does 105. Wow. So it's a kind of once you are get into it and kind of get, then you pick up and go. It's, it's broken one. into three, three parts. Uh -huh. The length of time it takes you to learn the first 19 is about the same length of time it takes you to learn the next 40. Uh -huh. And you learn the next 60 mm -hmm. in half the time. Wow. Because it just kind of it, gets All of a sudden it, it comes clicks. together, uh -huh. yes. Yeah, interesting. Well, that's encouraging for me to know because <laughs> I'll be starting from zero again when I come back. So tell me a little bit because sometimes on the second floor of the Olympia Center, I look out of my office window and I see a group down in the park by Percival Landing. My, my more advanced group mm -hmm. started out one day. We said we need to do more Tai Chi. And so we, Monday, Wednesday, Friday morning at 9 a.m., we go down on, in the park, personal uh -huh. landing, rain or shine, we don't do it in snow, but rain or shine, all year round, we do Tai Chi. Uh -huh. If for some reason I don't arrive, they do it without me. Uh -huh. It's wonderful. If for some reason they don't arrive, I do it without them, <laughs> which has only happened once. Oh, wow. In six years. That's amazing. That is really amazing. And sometimes there's quite a group of you out there. And there's usually between five and seven of us. Uh -huh. Now we do, this, is an op this isn't a class. Uh -huh. Nobody's paying for anything. We have had as many as three people walking by say, can we join you? Uh -huh. And just come into the group. We've had uh, some folks that I know are living on the street uh -huh. come and join us and uh -huh. come for a month, month and a half, two months. Wow. Uh -huh. Uh, we've got a, a couple right now. I, I don't know what he was doing, but she was walking out on Percival Landing. Uh -huh. She joined us. She'd been doing it for three months. That's not great. He came to a class. They both came on Tuesday. They're doing the five o'clock class, and he's coming out too. Excellent. I love it. That's really <laughs> great. Well, Earl, thank you so much for bringing Tai Chi to the Olympia Senior Center and to Olympia in general with the work that you're doing out on Percival Landing. And I promise, mm -hmm. I will be back. Well, I have to add one thing to what I've said. Okay. Thank you very much for letting me do it. Oh. Because, you know, when I came in that first day, I said, I don't have a place to do Tai Chi. Will uh -huh. you let me? Uh -huh. you, thank you. Oh, we warmly embraced it. It's just a wonderful, wonderful program. Thanks for doing it. <laughs> okay, well, please stay with us because we have another wonderful guest who will be with us in just a minute. I'm so glad you're still with us because we're going to learn something about yoga now. But before we go on to yoga, I do want to mention that the Lacey Senior Center also has a Tai Chi, a different instructor, not Earl. They have another wonderful instructor, though, and you can call there or go there to find out about the Tai Chi program there. So, But in the w meantime, Maureen Orr, yes. our yoga instructor, and you're there at the Olympia Center on Thursdays, I believe. Correct, correct. Why would somebody want to start taking yoga? Tell us a little bit about why somebody would want to do that. Well, yoga is interesting in that it addresses um, many aspects of who we are. It's a meditative process, so if you're feeling stressed or have anxiety, can't sleep. I also focus in my classes on building bone density. So, you know, different poses and holding them for a certain amount of time can increase the bone density in the hips and the upper back. And um, a lot of the focus in my class is just becoming a little more regal in our posture mm -hmm. to, you know, get the shoulders down the back, to increase a little core strength. And I, I would love it if sometime this interview would bring some of the students in. Oh, that Because would be I have been 
I've been teaching this class now for about nine years. Wow, has and it been that long? It has, and some of my students have been with me for years. Uh -huh. And um, as the previous speaker, the Tai Chi instructor said that the benefits are profound sometimes for people on how their balance is better, they they sit taller, they sleep better. Mm -hmm. um, and even back pain can help. Yeah, I actually with, teach yeah. a yoga for back care. So there's a whole yoga therapy uh -huh. program. And yoga is basic. There's prenatal, yoga for children, yoga for seniors. And a lot of people that come to my studio, I say, well, you know, I also teach at the senior center. Uh -huh. Because chair yoga kind of gets a bad rap. Then it sounds like it's... Um, not very challenging, but uh -huh. it can be as challenging as you want it to be. Right. So we start out in a chair and we start with seated mountain pose where we really engage the core and sit tall, mm -hmm. broaden the shoulders, and then we start to focus on our breath. So I think that's one of the things that may be different about yoga in regular exercise is just the mindfulness that can be created uh -huh. and the centering. And so similar again to Tai Chi, mm -hmm. that center yes. piece. Uh -huh. Yeah. So and we have fun too. It's you know it's it's a social networking and that we introduce ourselves to one another. You don't really need anything. Some people will bring a yoga mat, mm -hmm. but you don't even need that. I mean, sometimes we stand. We always mm -hmm. have the options to sit. So our chair yoga is multi-level. Uh huh. Yeah. So you. Do beginners come and join you even though mm -hmm. you've been doing this group for nine years? They can yeah, still come? Yeah, yeah, it's kind of a revolving door. Uh -huh. <laughs> People come and go depending uh -huh. on if they're moving or they um, bring a friend or mm -hmm. a partner or whoever. So, yeah, it's new people and what, it's great. What brought you to yoga, Maureen? Well, uh, everyone has their own story, right? Uh -huh. About 15 years ago, I had a cancer diagnosis and I found a class for yoga for the cancer journey uh -huh. and found it was profoundly helpful to me to reduce anxiety mm -hmm. and to give me some tools to navigate some troubling times. And mm -hmm. so that's what inspired me. I started teaching yoga for cancer patients uh -huh. and have since branched out to my own studio and senior. And, and I can't give up the senior center. I'm busy enough, but I love it. Yeah. And I love the people yeah. there and we have a great time. And um, it's just opening up. Yoga is um, becoming so much appreciated. And my referrals too are from chiropractors and physicians to get people to go to yoga, so yeah. it's, it's great. Really important, yeah. and again, I'm so glad that the medical communi community has recognized the mm -hmm. benefits of yoga mm -hmm. and of Tai Chi and yes. what have you, it's just wonderful. Mm -hmm. And I just wanna mention that you also run the Yoga Loft, so Correct. Thursday or Tuesday or Thursday in Olympia, and I know the Lacey Center has yoga as mm -hmm. well, but mm -hmm. if that doesn't fit somebody's schedule, they mm -hmm. can come and look mm -hmm. at classes at the Yoga mm -hmm. Loft. I have some crossover people uh -huh. <laughs> that come to yeah. the chair yoga and then will come to my gentle classes. But, you know, the senior center is an amazing place. If I mean, I don't think you realize the offerings that are there besides just the activities like Tai Chi and yoga and exercise. I mean, the poetry and the reading and the trips, yeah. it's a great place. It is. And a lot of people have a fixed idea of what a senior center yeah. is. And I think if they scratch the surface, they'd find that there's a lot more depth. And breadth or even there. just walking in and seeing the coffee shop and uh -huh. the espresso bar and people right. playing games and talking and some people on the internet and people walking in with their yoga mats going to yoga I mean uh -huh. it's really is a hubbub of activity and yeah. it's, it's it's really fun to be around that yeah. energy I enjoy it yeah and it's the nice thing too is you can go somewhat like yoga as you said you can get as involved yeah. with it as you want similarly at the senior center you can just come and sit and read a lot yeah. book in the lobby or you can get super involved five days a week mm -hmm. yeah. yeah yeah it's great it's a great service for well, sure yeah. Thank you, and thank you for your support, and thank you for not leaving us because I know your students would be so sad. <laughs> no, but, I'm um, I'm committed. I, yeah. I I get a lot of joy out of it, and and really enjoy the people that come to the class. Yeah. Well, thank That's you good. so much. Marie. Yeah, thank you. All right. 
So you've seen a few exercises and different modalities. And really, again, we've just scratched the surface because we have line dancing and ballroom dancing and Tai Chi Quan, which is a whole balance program. Um, so there's really lots to look at if you want to get more active. So please come and check out the Olympia or the Lacey Senior Center and just get moving. And you'll be seeing pretty soon, if you want to get moving in another direction, you'll be hearing from TRIPS as we head down to the Olympia Senior Center and find out what TRIPS people will be going on in the next few months. My name is Sky Myers. Happy New Year to you. I'm the Travel and Retail Director at Senior Services for South Sound, and I'm very excited to tell you about some of our upcoming trips and our travel program for 2016. Uh, we do anywhere from four to eight day trips around the region every month. We go to places like museums, we go to theater shows, we do the Broadway at the Paramount in Seattle, we also go to the Tacoma Musical Playhouse and other shows. We visit gardens, we go to the Lilac Festival, the Lavender Festival, uh, and we visit natural uh, preserves as well. Sometimes we do hiking trips, I run hiking trips through the summer, and we also visit casinos and other kinds of special tours and festivals. We have a tour coming up of the Gates Foundation Visitor Center in Seattle, as well as the world's greenest building, the Bullet Center, special tour there. In addition to that, we run uh, overnight trips, five or six every year. The first one coming up for 2016 will be in Port Townsend and then taking the ferry over to uh, Whidbey Island for the Muscle Festival. That'll be March 11th and 12th. In addition to those trips, we partner with larger tour companies and offer longer tours around the country and even internationally. For 2016, We'll be going to Arizona for Mariner Spring Training on March 15th for a week. In April, we have a Gardens and Mansions tour offered in New Orleans, and the dates on that is April 10th through the 16th. And in August, we have Shades of Ireland, a tour of all the southern portion of Ireland. It runs from August 13th through the 22nd. And in October, we'll be heading down to the southwest for the Albuquerque Balloon Festival. Uh, that is September 30th to October 4th. You can find out details about all of these tours and all of our day trips and overnight trips by coming to our office, downtown Olympia at the Olympia Center, corner of State and Columbia Street. You can call us at 360-586-6181 and ask for the trips department. Uh, we can take your payment over the phone or send you a catalog or answer any questions you may have. Uh, in addition to that, I would like to invite you to our Traveler's Tea. We offer that once a month on the second Tuesday of the month at the Lacey Senior Center. It is free and I do a presentation about all our new day trips. So I hope to see you there and have a great new year.